Welcome to our third segment of building a tripod hoist uh, to lift. Uh, my intention is to lift gravestones, headstones to reset them. And rather than spend a couple thousand dollars on a pre-manufactured one, I thought I'd uh, do a little MacGyvering and manufacture my own uh, with the legs uh, using these um, basement floor jacks. Uh, usually uh, you use them in the basement to hold up the uh, uh, floor joists uh, in, uh, above you in a sagging floor. So uh, I've been drilling some holes. Uh, these are telescoping. They come, actually they come two pieces like this. So basically one tube sliding in the other with some adjustment. So that uh, we'll use later on for extensions or third and fourth legs depending on how high I want to make it. So since the inner tube only comes with two holes or uh, two holes at one end, I had to drill uh, more holes or holes on the other end to accept um, additional pipe on the uh, bottom or the feet that I made and showed you in another segment. I probably did a little overkill. Uh, I've got four holes on the end of each one of these uh, smaller inner, tu inner tubes. Um, probably could have gotten by with two, but let's show you uh, the assembly. Uh, as noted earlier, I drilled uh, 11 16 holes through the top of all three of these. And on the outer ones, I actually had to uh, create an oblong hole um, so that the leg would, the outer legs would splay out to form a tripod. Uh, what I found and it, by drilling just straight through like on this center one, is basically um, um, the legs would not splay out uh, any more than how tight or or basically the about the width of that bolt. So we've got a grade eight bolt for strength. So now let's go ahead and uh, uh, we'll go ahead and assemble the the top head, including the chain to hang the hoist. So here you see they're uh, assembled, and uh, again, if they were, uh, if I hadn't elongated the outside, the holes on the two outer pipes, then basically your tripod base would not widen or extend. Um, using two foot, foot of chain, the size of the chain um, really is dependent upon, it was the only size, or I had to go this big in order to fit the bolt through it. Uh, smaller chains would not allow the uh, 5 8 uh, diameter bolt to um, go through that the chain links. So then this will hang down and eventually support the uh, chain hoist, or if it's a light load, maybe even just a... Uh, wire cable will uh, come along uh, or other uh, lifting uh, device. So you can see, so I'm gonna, I've got it double knotted, I'll tighten those down later. But now you can see that because the bolts are elongated on the, or excuse me, the holes are elongated, now you can see that I can splay out the uh, the tripod and actually create a tripod that will stand on its own. So I'll go ahead and now insert the um, three inner tubes into uh, uh, this uh, uh, lifting head uh, or section. I've installed the uh, uh, bolts supplied from the or with the kit. Uh, there's two in each kit, but. I've just put those in there as a dead stop so that the inner tube did not go all the way up. If I find that uh, uh, I would rather be able, if 
if my pickup bed or wherever I'm carrying it in um, I, is too short, uh, I may take those bolts out so I can slide the tube all the way up for uh, more compact storage. But for right now, it's uh, uh, with those bolts in, you'll see that uh, if, I, if I go to insert the tubes to that bolt, we'll increase the uh, uh, height of this tripod by about two feet. Then I can uh, work and uh, adjust the pins. And I used, uh, I'm gonna be using hitch pins uh, that I got at the hardware store or farm store. And in part, this is a 5 8 bolt, or excuse me, hitch pin. It's grade five, so it's a stronger, uh, uh, stronger bolt or pin. This is a welded um, handle on here, rather than some like we're gonna be using on the foot are just uh, kind of cinched and would be prone to break. So I can run uh, my uh, uh, chain through here to prevent uh, the legs from splaying apart or or a strap uh, and plus it's just uh, easier to grip and handle and we've got a tapered end that uh, provides for easier assembly and insert so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll slip those tubes in and then we'll uh, add the feet to, after that so with the smaller tubes inserted inside the larger tube, the head assembly, you'll see that I add, uh, just without any uh, pin adjustment or inserting any additional stops, that I've essentially added uh, easily, you know, right about two feet to each leg. Um, when I get it upright, or I think or before I set it upright, I'm gonna move it down and uh, make sure I have at least two pins inserted, or at least two, the length of uh, two pin holes uh, inserted inside the, um, the telescoping tube. And that is our maximal, maximum length with uh, just two leg segments. Then I've also got this drilled on the end where I can insert another um, larger tube and extend this even further. So let's go ahead and we'll pin this up and then I will also install the feet and show you what uh, at least a two pipe segment uh, tripod looks like. Okay, I think we're uh, assembled and ready to uh, lift this on its own legs. I've got the three uh, uh, hitch pins put in. Uh, I put in the, uh, you notice I face the uh, center one uh, down or perpendicular to the other two. Uh, that way uh, when it is uh, in the upright position, um, each leg, the, uh, the handle should be pointing outward uh, which I can use to as a handle and also again to uh, probably run some chain through it uh, to keep the legs from splaying or rope or whatever. I've got the feet attached as, as well. And uh, uh, again in an earlier segment you saw me uh, pounding these uh, metal plates into uh, this form. Uh, I've got some lighter weight uh, uh, small hitch pins. Uh, since these handles are, are basically cinched, they're not welded, uh, these would not hold any weight. Um, so what I have added is this, oops, I have to uh, change that one. Let's uh, take a look at this. So I've added these um, uh, spring clips uh, plus a washer uh, below the uh, uh, hitch clip. But basically I can also use these at the ground level for chain or rope. Um, as you'll see in some other videos online, they use a, a rope down at ground level. So we can uh, hook, you know, uh, link chain uh, into here 
and that'll be a very, very strong in, uh, means to prevent the legs from splaying apart or sliding, um, um, kind of like doing uh, this, the splits in gymnastics. So I'm going to try to avoid the splits. So let's uh, uh, put it in the air and we'll hook up the hoist and add our uh, uh, splay prevention or our, our retainer chains and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we've uh, got the tripod in the upright position, got the chain hoist on. I also added uh, this section of chain that I had uh, left over, uh, um, so you can hook this in many ways, but here again, I was indication I can use these handles as a, a place to hook my chain. They also help in moving, repositioning the legs. So now I can go around and uh, basically kick out or move out um, all these legs and this chain prevents it from the legs splaying out any further. And I still do have, depending on how I've got this chain hooked up, this, the uh, feet can be moved, you know, to some degree left and right without taking it too far off the of center. Uh, the chain up there again is about uh, two feet. Actually, I, I think I'll probably leave that length um, I could probably shorten it up a little bit, but it seems to work fairly well. Uh, you can see that uh, I could actually do have room up in the bolt slot that uh, I could splay this leg out even further if I needed to. And uh, that one's a little tight. So um, I do, I'm not currently at my full extension um, of, of the tripod or the, the legs could be splayed out uh, just a little bit more if I uh, loosen or adjust that chain and that would allow me to um, make full use of that uh, the uh, slotted hole up at top. The other thing uh, in part I, I like about the chain at mid height even though that we could attach the chain or rope or something down here. Let's change this. Washer goes on the outside. So I could hook uh, a rope or a chain onto here if desired. Uh, you know, or if you want to avoid that, you could even use these holes, but uh, this just seemed like uh, the simplest means. Um, you'll note that it's not sitting flat on the ground, uh, uh, so these might get modified uh, later. But on the flip side, you know, that sharp corner, whatever, will, I guess, probably cause this to bite into uh, uh, the dirt of the soil uh, a little better than if it was flat. So for now, I think I'll just uh, leave that uh, as a, a means to prevent dirt from getting up inside the tube. And that is also sized right now. It's on the small, smaller of the tubes. I did make them wide enough so that they would mount uh, on the wider tube should I add another extension to it. So really that's the, uh, the concept. If I want to, now if I want to uh, increase, increase the uh, height of this, and then I'm going to add uh, the next section of tubing. So right now I'm probably at probably lift height um, somewhere around five and a half feet or so. Um, fully extended. I think the box said that these uh, uh, legs would be roughly eight feet. But uh, with the hoist hanging there, with the legs splayed out, you know, now we can, now we've got about a, a solid five feet of lift from, uh, from ground to floor. The other thing I like, uh, uh, that I think will become handy with the chains in this position. Uh, number one, you're not, don't have anything across your, your f traffic area, your foot area. 
So if you're uh, walking, you won't be tripping over anything. And also, if you are moving your object and needed to kind of swing it in or slide it in from outside, you're not dragging it across the chain. The other thing is that I think This will also allow, bear with me here, let me put this on pause. Another advantage of having the splay restraint or this chain here is you can then put your um, excess chains uh, from your hoist outside the area where, in my case, the gravestone is gonna be. So this will try to uh, maybe help prevent these chains from um, actually touching and hitting a uh, uh, gravestone and, and or whatever uh, item you're lifting. So um, some means of protection as well for the object that you're lifting. So I think uh, for all practical purposes, uh, we are now complete. Um, and we'll show you this setup outside and uh, possibly lifting something at a, in a later segment. So, tripod, lifting hoist, uh, I had the hoist, each leg segment was about 35 to 40 bucks at my local home uh, supply store, in this case Menards. The hitch pins and uh, uh, clips were from a farm supply store, um, the chain as well from a farm supply store. I had the restraining chain already, but I uh, do have, uh, did purchase some other options as well. And uh, when I start adding more extensions, uh, I also have some additional uh, hitch pins. Should I decide to add uh, one or two more um, segments to get some uh, if I have a real tall object. So if I can do it, uh, I'm pretty sure somebody else can do it too, but I hope this uh, video uh, has helped you um, give you some ideas on how maybe you can build your own uh, tripod lift. Uh, so it took me about a day of uh, thinking about it and scratching my head and assembling the parts and took the better part of uh, a day to assemble what you see here as well as make this recording uh, 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 and how to guide. So good luck on, with your endeavors and uh, hope this helped.